Hi everybody, this is Alessandra Ziviani. I'm coming to you live from the green room in CPAC. Um, today we are going to be putting kind of all of our, um, all of the things that we've learned in the last couple months, all of the tutorials, together into a character makeup um, tutorial. So I'm gonna be doing a few different um, at things. I'm going to be wiping eyebrows, I'm gonna be using um, the scar wax the, that we've been using in the last couple uh, seminars. Um, I'm also going to be using um, spirit gum and li liquid latex. I'm going to show you the correct application for um, this scar wax that I have been using, but I haven't been setting it properly because I didn't have the, I had old latex and I had to order new stuff. So now I have the new stuff and I'm going to show you how to do it properly and set it. Um, it is going to be a longer tutorial today just because there are so many aspects of what I'm doing. So I'm going to get right into it. Um, hello. I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to uh, start with wiping my eyebrows. So I am, what we're doing, if you remember, I'm just taking this glue. You can use the purple one or the white one that all dries clear. Um, and I'm just, I fluffed up my eyebrows before and I'm just kind of putting a layer of glue on them. I'm trying to separate the hairs and glue them upwards. And you know, it, this with this application is not going to be as necessary to be um, to do as much stuff as we did previously in terms of using the orange and stuff because I'm going to be using a very dark blue uh, within um, my uh, my upper eye stuff. So we're not gonna need to uh, really put that orange color in there because I don't want the colors to blend together. So I'm just gonna do my other eyebrow and I'm just kind of pushing, again, pushing the hairs up and separating them at the same time so they're not as thick in places. And again, I have very thick eyebrows. So I'm just gonna push them up, push them up. So the character I'm doing today is, um, it's a type of water spirit, nymph, um, elemental archetype, it's been called. Um, it comes from a play that uh, was first written in the you know late 1930s, I think it was 1938, by a playwright, French dramatist called um, Gerardou. And he writes about a water nymph, um, by the name of Ondine, who um, falls in love with a human, a mortal, a knight, and she barters away. It's in the play, it's called The Old One, but it's in some of the legendary kind of story that this is based off of. It's more of like a, the wind or another elemental force that's in charge. She bargains, um, she to fall in love with this man, to have this man love her. She promises that she'll become mortal and give up her um, powers uh, to fall in love with this man. And the at the time, the elemental force of the wind or the old one, whatever it's called, whatever they call it, um, he basically says, this mortal man's gonna deceive you. And if he does, I'm going to take his soul. I'm going to kill him. And so she's like, no, no, he'll never deceive me. I'll make the deal with you so that I can be with him. And of course, you know, as the play goes, she, he deceives her and um, he's has to die. And it's a, it actually is a funny play. It's got elements of comedy in it too, because you know, this story has been told multiple times. Um, it's kind of the basis for the little mermaid. It's um, the basis for things like splash the movie. Um, all that kind of stuff. So right now I'm just uh, I'm gonna go back to the makeup for a second instead of the story. So I've put uh, two applications of the Elmer's glue on my uh, eyebrows. I'm gonna powder it really quickly, just really lightly. I'm gonna make sure it's dry. Just taking a little. And also the reason why we're not gonna have to do put this orangey kind of look on it as well is because I'm gonna be putting latex over my whole brow line. So it's going to act as like a barrier as well. So I'm just gonna dust this 
down so it stays down. Just really lightly dust it down. <clears throat> I am gonna put a little bit of foundation over it at this moment. I'm using a lighter foundation for this whole look because this water nymph look, she is, um, she, you know, the, the story that Jared Du wrote, um, she's kind of a heroine-esque, anti-heroine, but from the original um, novella that it was created in the early 1800s, 1811 or something like that, she's uh, seen as a kind of a sorceress who on purpose steals men's souls. So I kind of want to play with that idea as well. So I kind of want her to be, uh, you know, threatening, threaten, threateningly, <laughs> I want her to be a little evil looking. Um, threatening. I can't say it. Threateningly. Threateningly. Beautiful. <laughs> Threatening and beautiful at the same time. Um, which, uh, and also, you know, otherworldly, which is why we're using, um, we're going to be using some of this uh, uh, scarf makeup as well. Because I want to create a whole ridge line for her um, and everything. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to powder this now too, um, just a little bit so I don't, so it doesn't, you know, uh, blend with anything else. It doesn't mix. Um, so before this, because this is a longer one, I've shaped my wax into the kind of uh, images that I wanted. Um, this is my going to, this is going to go here. And then I've made these kind of fishy looking um, wax ridge lines. It's gonna, they're gonna go on the side of my face almost like gill-esque or seaweed-like um, for the character. Um, which, you know, and that's kind of like, why I'm doing that is also for that kind of ominous kind of look. Um, so I've wiped my eyebrows, I've powdered them. With the next step, so I did these, and when I did this with the wax, remember we water, we put water on our hands and we form it because it's sticky. It will stick to your fingers if you don't do that. So I did that. I put water all over my hands, made my little shapes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put spirit gum on the area in which I'm going to be placing um, the wax. So... I'm going to be going this way like a V and then I'm just going to put, I've actually pulled my hair back out of the way to allow, I'm going to be putting this here as well. So I'm going to start first with the V shape. So I'm just going to come in here and put a bunch of spirit gum and I'm just going to take a look in my mirror that I have over this way because it's hard to use the little camera. So here we go. I'm just, I, and I'm being pretty generous with the spirit gum. You know, I want, I want it to very much stay stuck to my face. So, hi. Yeah, good. You like this look? Good. Um, so, okay, I'm spirit gum. I'm doing this like V shape over my eyebrows. Um, and then I'm going to wait a second because... To put the wax on, you it needs to get a little tacky and it's still kind of wet. And the difference is you can really feel it. It will be kind of like liquidy still on your finger. When it gets tacky, it will actually like, your finger will start to stick to your face a little bit. And that's when you know that it's good to go for, it's getting tacky on this side. Not so much in the center yet. Okay. She's getting tacky. We're gonna just wait one more second. Okay, so this is my scar uh, wax, and I'm gonna place it, and I'm gonna kind of mess with it. I wanna just place it, for now, I just wanna get it stuck to my face. And later on, also when the spirit gum um, dries a little bit, I'm actually gonna kind of blend it into my skin a little bit more um, so it sticks. So this is where I'm going with right now. I'm getting my little my little V here. And I'm just trying to keep the, that kind of lifted ridge line look. Okay. Okay, so here we are. These are my other little fish fish guys. 
and I want to kind of connect them. Um, I want them to look connected, but I'm also not going to just, I'm, I might put a little bit of wax here, but it's going to go, it's going to kind of go like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off. First of all, I'm going to spirit gum this side of my face and I'm just going to do this whole area um, because the spirit gum will dry. Uh, it'll stay sticky for a minute, but we're just going to have space in between so that it's dry by the time we mess with it. So again, I'm just going to really apply to this whole area, the spirit gum. And just so you know, if you're doing something like this where you're putting spirit gum on your face, you really want to make sure, um, and you're going to be doing it every single night, you really want to make sure you have some good um, products to get it off of your face because it can be very harsh um, for your actual skin. So, you know, um, I do, I've been using alcohol wipes to get it off, um, which is great. You would want something that also kind of exfoliates later on, like when you go to take a shower to kind of get any extra stuff off of your face. Um, exfoliate that spirit gum off. Um, and then you would like to, you know, definitely get some sort of like deep moisturizer so that to put on after the fact so that your skin, you like replenish your skin after drying it out because this stuff is very astringent and it really dries your skin out. Okay, so I'm just feeling around again and you can kind of see that tackiness that kind of pulls away from the your finger. So here we go. I'm going to gently kind of attach this to, to close to the point where, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm sticking it down, but I'm also trying to make sure that it gets close enough to my other ridge line. And here we go. And I'm gonna, I wanna move this out a little bit. I don't wanna mess it up, but I wanna move it so that it looks more, there's more of an arch to it. I'm gonna let this stick here for a second. So it kind of, you know, you can see it kind of has this gill look to it. Um, for this show, you know, it's typically not done in this kind of fin fantastical kind of makeup way, but if I was directing it, I would kind of want to do it from, you know, this fantastical uh, way, like this woman who obviously is like from a different realm. She's a spirit, she's a water nymph, falling in love with a mortal man and I would want to play on those kind of, um, well, what do two people from two different worlds, how do they, how do they connect? How do they be together? And why ultimately they're, um, in this particular story, they couldn't overcome it. Um, it's just interesting themes. And I would, I really think that you can, um, when you know you're doing makeup design, you're trying to get the story in the makeup as well. It's uh, reflective of, you know, what you're trying to do. So, you know, you can do that. You can make, when you're doing your character makeup, you can really reflect the themes of, the deep themes of the play. Um, and in this case would be the differences between the two of them, and yet they still fall in love. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm just, here we go. I got this. I'm going to see if it stays tack, tacky, tacky. I'm going to wait a little longer because it's not there yet. And later I'm going to wash my hands before we finish doing everything else. Um, before I start blending it in, I'm going to make sure I don't have any more spirit gum on my fingers. Okay, so that's pretty good. I am again going to, actually I'm going to make this a little bit like that so that it kind of connects we've got a connector here and I'm just laying it I'm sorry got my fingers in the way of what I'm doing here we go and I kind of you know I got my fingernails in the wax a little bit and you can see it's kind of showing but that's okay I can go back and fix it and the makeup's gonna cover it up too so here we go so I've kind, this is what I've got, and I'm just kind of patting it down, making sure it's getting a good stick onto the places where I've put the spirit gum. Now I'm just kind of checking everything. 
Okay. I'm going to wash my hands now. I've got this where I've placed it. And what I want to do now is I want to go back in and I kind of want to take an edge of something, uh, like a tool, and blend the wax into my skin so that it looks more like a like skin-like instead of just like giant worms of wax on my face. So here we go. I'm just getting this off of my fingers right now. Um, what you can also do, which I'm actually about going to do, is I'm going to put some powder on my fingers right now so that the stickiness goes away. Little trick. Little trick. There we go. I'm just powdering my fingers just like that so that it's not going to do anything. Okay. So now this is, can be a difficult part. I'm using a couple different things because I don't have the exact right tools. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm using the back of my, um, hi Beulah, I'm going to use the back of my um, curling, eyelash curler. I've also got a seam ripper, the back edge, and I've also got the back edge of a paper clip. So what I'm going to be trying to do, and I'm going to get close, I'm going to look in my mirror that's here, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to flatten out the edges, and you can see it, of the ridge line to make it more look like it's connected to my skin. And uh, it's looking like it's going, it's doing a pretty good job. So I'm just gonna really quickly try to get this in. I might actually use this little paper clip thing. I think it's gonna be better. So I found this and I was like, ooh, that's exactly what I need. Um, so I'm just kind of, again, just kind of pulling the wax down and then pulling it onto my skin to give it this kind of, and it's also going to give it a kind of a textured look, which will be kind of cool under the latex when we're, because we're, the next step is I'm going to latex my whole ridge line. I want to, this is a part where I want to really kind of flatten it out a little bit. I'm going to use my fingers here because it's getting on my, it's on my cheek at that point, and I just want to kind of keep it down. Still have that. So you can see right here how I did that. It's kind of blending in. So I'm going to do that to the end tips too, because I really just want that to stay stuck. And um, it, this, the spirit gum is still a little tacky right here, so I'm just being really gentle. Just go slow with this if you're doing this for the first time. Just be slow. Um, you might, you probably, if you do it for the first time, you know, you might get things sticking to you and like stuff like that. But just like we've been saying, like I've been saying in all the other uh, tutorials, the, the objective is not to panic. You can fix everything. So I'm going to just... Do this to the V down here. And I'm gonna kind of pat it with my finger as well because this bigger one is okay to do too. And I'm just patting it down, kind of getting it. I'm just going to do this to the whole part of my face, all of it. And I'm just, here we go, going to do that there. And I'm actually just going to finish this side up over here. This is the kind of the tips are the kind of the most important part, what I'm, what I'm looking at that's going to, you know, it's coming really far out from my face. So I'm just gonna, there we go. This tips down so it looks blended. There we go. So it's pretty stuck to my face right now. I'm just gonna do this last little part here. using 
my finger on this side because it's um, a little bit bigger. The wax is a little bit more than the other side. And there. Okay. I'm just cleaning this V up a little bit. And kind of putting it back together because it got a little messed up. There we go. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the latex on. Now, the latex is um, can be really difficult to work with. Um, and it's also, um, when it's exposed to oxygen, it really kind of, um, deteriorates quickly. So I have this new, this is the Ben Nye liquid latex. It should be liquidy. You should hear it when you shake it. It should sound like liquid. The stuff that we had before was like, had been exposed to oxygen for too much. I think there was a crack in the lid and, um, it became like, you know, uh, rubber cement when you use that. So... I'm going to quickly apply this. Here we go. Here we go. So, here, and I'm, you can see that I'm putting it over my eyebrows as well. And I'm just painting it on like this. And it's filling in the cracks as well. And it's going to give me a really good um, base here. Here we go. And I'm just painting it in. I'm going to get it in this crack area. it down be sure I'm getting the opposite side I got latex on my pants there we go one on top and it looks crazy right now but it's going to dry and it's going to dry clear so I'm just getting in all the little crevasses so that I make this nice bond. And you can see that I'm bringing it down also like this. Hold on, I gotta get this off my pants because it will stay on my pants forever. That's another thing um, I'm doing. I'm kind of not doing what I should be doing. Uh, you should definitely have like a makeup, uh, <laughs> like robe on, because you can't, this stuff can mess your clothes up. So here we go. I'm also trying to get it, keep it out of my hair, but. Okay, so I've done this side. It's gonna dry now. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna just put a little bit more here and kind of, when you get towards the edges too, you really wanna make sure you kind of thin it out um, because it can pull up. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, you can see I'm really like painting it on almost like nail polish. Here we go, up and over. And you see how I'm getting really in the like cracks of it because it's gonna, it's gonna seal everything for me. It's gonna just keep it in place. Okay. And I'm doing really lightly. You don't wanna get too close. You don't wanna get too close to your eyes, but I do want it to stay. So I'm kind of, I just took my finger and did a nice little wipe um, as well. So here we go. I'm getting all the little cracky parts. I'm getting them over my eyebrow so that it's less textured. Getting in the cracks down here and I'm gonna pull it down lightly. Oops, <laughs> I got it on my nose too. <laughs> um, here we go. 
and I'm just going to like kind of douse it in this area because this is, it's really kind of a high ridge over here that I've done. So I just want to make sure it sticks. And up in here. You can see this really involved. It really like makes you like understand how how much time it takes for FX makeup. You know, sometimes the actors are there, you know, for the majority of the day for like a, you know, a five minute scene just to get their makeup put on. Okay, so I feel like I got everything. I just want to make sure I have the back of this ridge line. And I'm just going to kind of taper this out. So there. Um, there. I'm just gonna let this dry for a minute. <laughs> Raw. It's like a helmet head. Um. Okay. Oh, I got latex everywhere on my shirt, everything. Okay. That's okay. Um, all right, so we're just kind of waiting. So while we wait, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply my foundation that I'm going to use uh, for the rest of my face. So this is the Ben Nye. This is the Ultra Beige. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to do my mouth too because I'm going to change my mouth line as well. And you can see this is real, really a different color than my um, own skin tone. Oh, and I, I already put primer on, so just so you all know what's on my face. Um, the primer is already there. You can see how this is drying. It's drying really clear. So I'm just gonna let it, it takes a minute for it to dry. It takes about like five to 10 minutes to dry. She's an involved process. all of that in my mouth and do my jawline bringing it down so I'm gonna be doing a combination of um, colors today uh, in terms of what I'm using I'm going to be using creams and I'm also going to be using, um, we haven't used this yet. It's called aqua color. Um, let me show you what it looks like really quickly. They look, they look bizarre. Um, this is the Krylon brand. It's just, um, it's an aqua color uh, thing. And like it sounds, you use water when you're applying it. So we are going to be using that as well. Just pulling my hair back so I can get this into my hairline. I'm going to go right up to my eye. So I'm going to use a combination of cream, aqua color, and powder today. Um, it's a lot, but this character look is a lot too. go okay so now I'm gonna test this by putting some foundation over I'm also gonna touch it I'm gonna see how we're doing here okay you see how that put picked up a little bit it's not ready so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave, leave it and let it I'm just gonna go in this little area here I can do my eyebrows because that looks pretty good. I'm just going to do my eyelid. Mm -hmm. Draw my nose a little bit more. My eye. So yeah, this character, this Undine character, it's, um, 
it's pretty cool. That's why I, I you know, I wanted this. Um, a lot of times it's just, uh, you know, the production, you'll see it just like kind of Little Mermaid-esque, this really beautiful young girl. I just thought it would be interesting if you really like played up the fact that she's from a different world. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm just gonna pat this into this area. And so when I get to the, I'm gonna show, see what I'm doing. I've kind of changed it. I'm like patting it down at this point because um, because of the latex, I wanna again, stipple it in here so that, um, cause I, and I also wanna be fairly gentle as well because I don't wanna break the latex or pull it too much and um, you know, damage the seal that I've created. So I'm just kind of getting in here real gently and laying in some. I might even actually use my finger at this point because it's more gentle. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get it a little bit more up here. Just to cover my eyebrows, like I said, and I'm getting just inside there. Okay, so now I'm pretty good with the makeup. The um, the only cream makeup I'm gonna use for this look is this bright, bright blue, Ooh, like that. Um, and I'm just gonna be using it on my eyebrow and underneath the ridge line um, to, and I'm gonna go in ahead and just start doing it. Cause this, this is the fun part. This is the, the makeup makeup part. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make this look less alien-like and more normal. Um, so here we go. Coming in here with this blue, it's doing a dual function. It's giving me the look that I want, this kind of water nymphy look, and it's also acting as a shadow. So I picked a bunch of different colors of, of blues um, to, you know, work in this uh, way. So, and I'm going to pull this all the way into my eye. Um, like this. And I'm kind of um, letting it get lighter as I go closer to my eye as like a natural transition. Um, yeah, here we go. And I'm just getting really like on that underneath ridge line so you can really because I'm gonna go back in onto all of this wax and latex and put in a, a lighter blue and then go on top of that with like a white uh, pop so this is here we go I'm gonna get in here, this is my eyebrow. And now as you can see, now my eyebrow is like completely gone. So we've done it. And I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure, cause there are little ridges in here, little, little ridges. So I'm just making sure that with my small little brush that I'm, you know, painting within there. There we go. I'm gonna do the other side. Oops. Yeah, a little bit. I'll fix that later with more color. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Welcome to the makeup party. All right, so here we go underneath the crease line again over here. And this is gonna act again as my shadow. So I'm just getting it all set in there. And I'm covering again my eyebrow so we can't see it. It's kind of, and this one, this is my trouble eyebrow. This is the one that's real thick for some reason. <laughs> I got one eyebrow that's thicker than the other. Um, so, I'm definitely like kind of stippling it in there in between so you really can't see it. Ugh. 
the promo picture I had I didn't do the latex on the promo picture because I was saving it for today so you can really still see my eyebrow in that picture but I, I'm happy with how it's coming out today you can't see it at all which is what I want so here we go I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit pull these blues down a little bit too and continue on my ridge line here adding So this, if you're doing this makeup application, it'll probably take you at least an hour, uh, maybe more, depending on how um, well versed you are with um, latex and um, waxes and stuff. So just to give you an idea. So now I'm going in between the little parts because again, I, I do want it to have this um, shadow effect. So I'm just getting in there and really gently because I again don't want to break the latex seal so I'm just getting in there and I'm kind of stippling it in there and I'm getting just like that hi Merve I, I are you in and you're in Turkey where are you okay so here we go getting it in there getting it on the side and again, for those who have just joined us, this character is the Ondine character from Gerardu's play Ondine. Uh, and this is my take of it. I'm going to go up. I'm also going to go up here because, again, I want the shadow. So I just want to accentuate what this wax is doing. So, But I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to go lightly. And I'm actually going to eventually end up blending this up like kind of like that almost in this feathery way um and so my character uh you know it's nor it's typically depicted as a young woman but i i kind of wanted to you know this is supposed to be an she's supposed to be an elemental being you know um water nymph powerful um magical kind of creature so I really wanted to um, play that up it's almost like if you guys have ever read um, Red Wicked the book um, when Alphaba she falls in love with the blue man and they live together in the Emerald City for a while but you know uh, it's you know also a, you know a metaphor for you know um, different coming from different cultures being of different races being together um so that's kind of what i'm playing with here too I, like really showing the fact that this is a, a nymph from another world who's fallen in love with a mortal man and what that means uh, you know why they can or cannot be together so here we go this uh play the original play was done in uh 1938 so like I said, it was the it's the basis for the Little Mermaid. Um, here we go, Aqua Woman. Yeah, I, um, so I'm almost done with this kind of like detailed work, and I really am liking my seal is is staying um, really well, which I'm happy about. The latex is really um, creating a nice like seal um, for this so at this point I'm feeling um, pretty good that this um, all of this work that I've done is gonna stick and stay so which is great and I'm just right now I'm just going back and filling in some of the little spots that um, are popping through that I see that don't have this blue in it um, what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to make some little fishy scales on my face and I'm just going to kind of, they're almost like freckles and I'm just taking the, this is like a, um, you know, it's this kind of arc shaped brush and I'm just kind of dabbing it and, um, you know, pulling down, uh, and I'm going to take it into the, this area. So, um, because again, 
I want to, I want to make it, they could be freckles, but they're also, she's also like a, a water nymph. So, and I'm just gonna make some darker ones because I have some darker ones on the other side. So, here we go. These are my, my scales. That one's a big one. <laughs> I'll do it not here. Okay. Okay. Um, so from this point, this is all the cream that I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to powder this, um, so that uh, it stays. <laughs> so here we go. Powdering my whole face because everything on my face right now is cream. Powdering my forehead, last part. Okay, great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in just like normal now. I'm, gonna, I'm picking colors. Ooh, sorry, I had to sit up a little bit. So I'm picking colors now that I'm going to do highlight and shadow with my face. So I'm first, I'm gonna do my cheek line area and I'm gonna do my jaw and my cheek line and my nose just to get it kind of done with. So I have a couple, colors of blue. This is the CoverGirl um, blue. I think I'm going to use this one. I think that's what I used yesterday. And then I also have um, this crate, this cool, it's really old Urban Decay <laughs> um, uh, palette. And I'm going to use this shattered right here. And this, uh, this also I'm going to be highlighting with this like kind of sparkly white as well. Um, I also have this, this other Urban Decay old uh, one that has this really pretty blue. It's called Peace, and I'm I'm gonna use some of that too. I think. Um, so right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this CoverGirl one first to kind of do my um, this area, my cheek line. So I'm just getting it light, and then I'm just gonna come right in to where my cheek line is, and kind of lightly spread it in there. I don't want to mess up my little gills that I'm uh, making. Hi, Amy. So here we go. I'm just getting a, a kind of a deep kind of color in here. Um, this is also going to be a transition color for me. So I'm going to kind of put it in here too. So I'm going to just drop it in around this area of, you know, the latex. There's latex right here. So I'm kind of just getting it in there, um, pigment-wise. So it also kind of just falls right in there like that. So one cheek line, I'm going to do the other. I'm just pulling it down, blending it, mm -hmm. blending it down. I'm gonna do my eyes again too, like, just like that. And this is a transitional color, so, cause I want it a little bit lighter also, um, but I'm just gonna drop this like darker blue in there as well. So I'm gonna do my jawline at this point. And I'm, Doing it just kind of really lightly, and I'm just going to blend it like that. Great. So now I'm going to focus on my eyes. Actually, I might do a little bit of blue down this way on my nose. Okay. So now I'm going to focus, this is the shattered blue that I'm going to be using, which is a really pretty color and I'm going to use it for my eyes and to kind of shade some of this other stuff. So I'm going to just brought, drop it in here. It's got some shimmer to it as well, which I like because um, it brightens up the look a little bit. So I'm actually, and I'm actually going to put it on a little bit uh, 
into the darker blue as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of this on at the actual ridge line as well. Just a little bit. For the most part, I'm gonna use the, I am gonna paint the ridge line with the aqua color, so. And just kind of getting in there, getting the blues in there. And I'm leaving space for my highlight when it comes. I'm going to also do it, use the, this color here as well, because it's, it's this lighter blue that I, I like, and I want it to come down a little bit on my nose. Um, I'm also going to transition it up this way and make kind of these pulls of blue so that because I'm going to do my whole forehead in a like a blue kind of um, almost water-esque way just to again show that kind of you know to the to the water kind of aspect of this character living in water, being of water. With that, I'm going to just kind of shade my temples a little bit. Um, so here, this is the other color, the color from before. So I'm just putting this up and back. I'm actually going to put it in a little bit here too and pull it up. Pull it up. All right, so I'm going to actually start with this um, aqua color um, to paint the ridge line of my uh, look. So I'm just, aqua color is literally like you're painting with watercolors. So I have this brush and I have put, have put a little bit of water in the aqua color. It's this teal kind of color. And I'm just kind of wiping it around because I don't want it to be too watery I want a, a nice pit for what I'm going to do right now I want a nice deep pigment so and I'm going to be doing my ridge line so here we go and I'm literally just you know I'm painting this on I'm just getting more pigment because it is, you know, you want to continue to get it. Otherwise it gets a little watery. So here we go. And I'm just paint, do, trying to get all the sections of it. Just painting it on like that. It's this pretty teal color. Then now this has to dry too because it is water-based. So I'm going to let it, after I get it all the way around my ridge line, I'm going to let it dry as well. I'm trying to get it in the back as well. And I'm trying to cover all the kind of latex area um, on top of it. I'm actually going to put a little bit up in here because I can kind of see the latex coming through and I am stippling it in right now. So, And it's just acting kind of more also like a blend and I'm just going to kind of pull it up as well. So when you have, you know, you, when you do put latex on your face, you do have to kind of consider how you're going to blend it, um, where the edge lies, because you will see the edge marks. Um, and you definitely have to design your makeup around, you know, hiding that. I'm just going to 
I've almost run out of water on this, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see how much I can get done. There little bit of dampness that I have left in this palette. Here we go. I'm going to put a little bit more water in here and get it all going. There we go. And just finish this up a little bit. I'm also going to, I'm going to drop a little bit of this color in here too, just to like kind of this transitional color. And also for, again, for the latex part of it, you know, I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to blend it down a little bit. Same on this side. Same here. Yeah, you can see some of this latex coming just like kind of crumbling off, which I'm I'm going to let come off because I don't actually like it so much on the tip of my nose. I'm actually going to pull some of this off and go back and go back and with my, um, see it, pull like that. So I'm just going to kind of try to stop it um, a little bit, put this here and then go over it with some of my um, powder. Not to worry when that happens, it'll happen. So again, don't panic, don't panic. And again, so here, this, you see the edge here of the latex. So I'm stippling and I'm gonna bring it up in here. So. I'm going to use my finger to kind of take some of that more of the pigment away so it looks a little bit more natural, like transition color, like that. Almost like that. And go up here and make sure I'm fully got full cup, got full coverage. Okay, we're getting there. We're far away, but we're getting there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my nose real quick. <laughs> Fixing my nose. And I'm just putting um, some more uh, foundation on. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to put a little bit more of this blue, this dark blue just to cover this um, kind of tear of the latex. And I'm, I'm going to also bring this down a little bit. My kind of, this kind of shadow so that I'm incorporating the shadow from my eyes going down into the shadow from my nose. I'm also going to do a little blue under here and over here. And I'm going to powder it in a second. I'm going to go back and do this with powder as well. I just want to have this base under here so that it pops a little bit more. So the, all this stuff is going to have powder on top of it. I just want to kind of give it a, a, a platform to have this deep pigment later on. And I'm just gonna, I'm touching up a little, some little places here. Okay. I want this to stay down. Stay down. Stay down, you. Okay. Hooray. So now I'm gonna go in with some highlight, which is this like very fun bright white and I'm going to go ahead and do my nose first so you can kind of see what it does. It's very um, vibrant. I'm going to do it, go in my eyes like this. Again, we put the white in the center of our eye to make it look as if we, our eyes are farther apart. I don't know why that makes, uh, why that's an, an attribute that people, uh, 
think is attractive, but I guess, I mean, I get, but that's what they tell us. Makeup is, you know, eyes are far apart and it's more attractive. I don't know. So. And I'm just doing that. I'm also putting some underneath my eye to just kind of pop this hollow. Like that. This is also going to go on my ridge, on my actual, I'm going to use a smaller um, brush for this though. I'm going to put this, um, let me use this one. I'm going to put this kind of shimmery white on top of this ridge line so that you can really, and you can see it already, you can see it really starts to kind of pop the whole look of it. So. I'm going to do that. It's really fun to come up with ideas for care, like to read a play and then to imagine the character and come up with your own makeup design. It's really, um, it's really fun. Um, so I encourage everybody to try it out, pick your, one of your favorite plays and, Kind of reimagine what the makeup design would be for that. It also, you know, gives you also some more ownership over the character as well when you're doing this for yourself. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to actually add a couple in here into my fish face right now so that I've got some texture. I'm also going to put a lighter blue in there as well at some point. And I'm going to also do my cheekbone here. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of cheating it because I've got all this, you know, gill stuff on my cheek, on my actual cheekbone. So I'm just kind of placing it in underneath that. Um, just like that. I'm actually going to use, I have a different, I have this other white from Mac and it's called, where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's called forgery, I believe. And it's kind of the shimmery white. And I'm actually going to use that more for my cheek line because it's a, uh, sticks a little bit better. So I'm just kind of pulling it in like that. Pulling it in like that. I'm going to do, use this for my jawline as well. So I'm going to go in and put the highlight on my jaw. Here. And I'm going to put it on my chin because I'm going to, now I'm starting to do the, our, you know, our highlight and shadows that we normally do. I am going to put it up here too, um, to kind of give my face, uh, to cover up the, um, the base stuff and to kind of give this some, some other texture like I have on my cheeks. I've got these dark patches of blue and I want to kind of make it almost look like reflected light off the top of a lake or something like that. And I'm just put, going back in with this more of this white. Aw, thanks, babe. <laughs> and here we go. I'm also now I'm going to go back to that um, kind of bright, bright white, and I'm going to put it on my Cupid's bow and uh, this area. So I'm gonna just gonna go like this to give me some, um, a little more heightened kind of magic. And I'm gonna do this part of my, the depression of my Cupid's bow also. So it kind of gives me, um, I'm kind of now having this real like dimensional look doing it here 
where we normally have a shadow as well. It's kind of blending it in. I don't want to do too much because again, you know, when you do these, this is also your, your lines for your age. So I'm just being real gentle with that. Um, cause I don't want to look like a old water nymph. I want to look like a young one. Okay. I'm going, I'm putting some of this, this shattered, this like lighter blue. And now I'm, I'm going around my eyes a little bit because I'm going to be doing an eye, uh, eyeliner look as well here. So, um, it also to add to the beauty, but to also add a little bit to the ominousness of, you know, this kind of powerful water nymph. Go. So, um, I'm actually gonna try. I haven't used this color for my promo pick, but I'm gonna actually see what it how it looks because it's actually this really pretty blue, and I'm gonna just put it. I'm actually gonna put it in here as my crease, my cut the crease. So here we go. And it's actually it's working pretty well. Actually, it's a pretty color. It's that um, shattered. Um, not shattered, it's peace, and it's in the Urban Decay one. So here we go. I'm just kind of blending my blues now. So I have that, you see, I have that kind of uh, cut the crease kind of thing. I'm going to do it here. And then I'm going to go back over my eyelids and really get that pop that white. So I'm going to use like a flat brush because I really want to get a lot on there. So I'm just going to tamp it down and go like that and blend it. So now it's on like on my eyelid and it's real active. Here we go. And I'm just kind of doing a like a blend blending here. This is really bothering me. Hold on, guys. I gotta I gotta try to fix this. Cause okay. She's bothering me. I'm actually gonna try. This might be crazy, but I'm gonna try spirit gumming the sides down. So what I'm doing is the latex is pulled away, um, so I'm not panicking. I'm just going to try to fix it. And I'm just pulling it away because I don't like this texture right here on this part of my nose. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the spirit gum and I'm applying it on top. And I'm just going to pat it down and I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to dust it again and go over it with some makeup. So here we go. Just kind of trying it. And hopefully it'll work. It's so funny, you know, every different every day you do your makeup, there's a potential. You never know what's gonna agree with you one day and what's gonna be like a little give you some problems the next day. All right, so I'm kind of, I'm going to just wipe away some of this powder, excess powder from my face while I'm waiting for the spirit gum to dry. Okay, so I'm going to do my lips and start to get ready to do my eyes as well. Um, I have this um, great, um, it's an eyeliner, pen, eyeliner pencil, but I'm using it for my lips. And so what I'm going to do for my lips, um, it's just kind of this teal greeny guy. I'm going to make them real small so they can mimic like a fish kind of lip. It's almost like a little heart on my mouth. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. And I got the Cupid's bow. I'm going to stop it right there, real small. And I'm kind of accentuating the fact that a uh, heart shape. And here we go. And just 
pulling it down. And I'm going to use the bottom part of my lip, but I'm going to not do all of my lip. I'm kind of cutting a hard line where I want it to stop. So now I have this kind of like fishy mouth. You have a fishy mouth. And fish mouth. I'm going to make it a little deeper right here. So it's not really where my lip is, but I went a little farther down. just to give some fullness to my lips. I'm actually gonna sharpen this a little bit because it's a little, it's getting a little dull. A little dull. It's causing me a problem, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of a different uh, blue, the shattered blue again. I'm gonna go over my lips with a powder to give it this kind of iridescent kind of magical look as well. So it's kind of shimmery now. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to go back in with my um, with my base makeup and I'm going to wipe my lips a little bit more. And I'm opening my mouth so I can get it all the way down. So it kind of really, you can really see that how it makes it all disappear. Before I do anything else, I'm going to powder that so it stays. <laughs> I'm like eating powder. Okay. So now I'm still waiting. I'm still kind of, this is still kind of tacky. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some eyeliner. Um, I'm going to do kind of like a thick guy over here because I want it to... Um, I want to do some stuff on top of it as well. So I'm going to line my whole eye. I'm just going to go like this. Eyeliner. Like again, I said, one side I have to close my eye. The other side I can uh, do open. It's really weird. I don't know why that is. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, just so you can tell that I'm going to pull, I'm going to go like a diagonal, a diagonal up from this edge of my eye. So like, I'm just making a diagonal line going upwards. And then I'm going to connect it like that. So I've got almost like this little triangle to make this wing tip thing. And then I'm just going to fill it in. That's what I'm doing. I'm filling it in right now. And I'm going to do a little under here. Not a lot because I'm going to go back in with this green. Because I want it to be real iridescent -y and shimmery. So I'm just doing a little bit. Um, the black is just to give it like some definition. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna wipe some of this off because I got a little bit of makeup on it. So now I'm gonna go back in and do it on this side. And this is the side that my eye never wants to close. You can do it just open-eyed, open-eyed. I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna do it in the center like that, see like that? Okay. So I get to the crease again and I'm gonna pull diagonal up. And then diagonal over. I'm being real gentle here. And then I'm gonna fill in with black. Hmm. I'm just getting a little thicker up here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit farther out. There we go. Sorry, I have to get so close to the my other mirror when I do it because I'm so blind. <laughs> I have to like get inside my eye to do it. Okay, and then bring it down just a little bit on the bottom corner of my eye, just for now. Okay, so that, they're pretty similar, pretty similar, I don't know. This one's a little thicker. This one's always a little thicker. I'm gonna fix this one to make it look a little thicker too. Ugh. Symmetry, symmetry on the eyes is always difficult. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to take that green that I had before. I'm going to line underneath. So I'm going to pull my eye out. I'm just going to line it. Oop, not stick myself in the eye. So there you go, you've got like this dark greeny kind of thing. And I'm also going to go over the black a little bit just so I have this like extra level of green shimmer on it. So there you go, just like that. I'm going to do this to the other side. Uh, I have to open my mouth, I guess, too. <laughs> I don't know why this, why we do those things, but we do. There we go. And so that was like in my waterline that I got it. And now I'm going to go over it again on the top like I did to the other side. And I'm kind of going like following the black and then going above it. Just to add, you know, that kind of extra layer of this extra dimension of green. Okay. It's looking better and better every time I look away. This is a lot of layering, so it will look crazy when you first start. And also if you have like a mistake like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to fix this stuff. I think it's stuck. So I'm just taking my blue that I had originally, that dark blue, and I'm gonna just kind of touch it up and in in this area and hope for the best. Okay. And actually, it's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna stipple this, I'm, now that I have this, I'm gonna kind of like stipple it down a little bit to again, make it look like fish scales a little bit because it's kind of cool like that. Um, I'm gonna powder really quick because this is cream makeup and I want it to set. So I'm just setting it. There we go, it's set. And I'm going to do a little bit more highlight on my nose now that I just fixed it. So take this bright, white and kind of bring it down from the center. I'm also gonna do some little, a little bit of white underneath 
like on my on this ridge line as well just to give myself a little bit of pop okay and now I'm just kind of like touching up little spots and making sure that every, all of my um, latex is covered and um, all the, all of my shadows are looking good. We're almost done here um, for this look. I'm going to just put a little bit of... Um... You know what I'm going to do too is I'm going to just do a little nasal labial fold here, a little one. So you can see the definition of actual an actual face and pulling it up just a little bit so you can see my and I'm also gonna put a little bit of this blue this this kind of teal blue into my little f kind of fish fish freckles <laughs> that I have I'm gonna put them in here like a little definition of freckles Fish freckles. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this look. I'm pretty happy with the way it's like, oh, I can do some mascara. I can do some mascara. I forgot about that. Okay. Hold on, let me curl my eyelashes. Cause we want some, we want some mascara. Oop, get my eyelash. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I'm just using like some basic mascara and I'm just gonna get it all up in there and I'm doing my little wiggle, little wiggle. I'm also gonna put it on, I normally don't, if you watch me, you know I normally don't put mascara on my lower eyes, but again, this um, character is supposed to be a little bit mysterious, a little bit um, dangerous, so I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on my lower lashes because that means danger <laughs> to me. Okay. Watch out for those dangerous women who have lower lash mascara on. Here we go. I'm just getting it all up in there and pulling it up as far as I can so that they really extend. This would be a good look for fake eyelashes too if you wanted to do that. So yeah, you see it really kind of darkens my under eye. And I've got some weird blue on the tip of my nose. I want it just to be white. I just want white on my nose. Just do that. There we go. So that's kind of it. I was gonna let my hair, my mom's like, should you have blue hair or something? But I don't know. So like if I was gonna do my hair design too, I would probably do something like this with wisps of hair all around and maybe like a different color, like almost like a white or a blue kind of thing. So it would, you know, very sea serpent-esque sea serpent. I had, I put, um, actually I think I have some of the silver. Hold on. Let's see. I got some silver, some, well, it says gray. I don't know if I want that, but I don't know if this actually even works. Ooh, it does. Watch, let's see what this does. Oh yeah. It's making my hair more, more gray than it already is, but it's kind of cool. You can do like a shock of gray white kind of look with the oops <laughs> it's not hurt my thing but yeah this is a this is a leave-in thing that kind of 
adds lightness to the hair. But as you can see, water nymph. So that is the look. Let me get close to you so you can see eyes, ridge line, far away, so you can see how it looks for, like might look on stage. So there you go. Character makeup. <sighs> Yay! So um, that's it for today. This was a long one. Sorry about that. Do a short one next time. Um, I don't know what. Something simple. Maybe, maybe I'll show you guys um, how to make yourself look sick. <laughs> if you don't want to, you know, go to work, <laughs> you can make yourself look sick and snotty. Um, we could do that. That would be easy and quick for next week. I think feel like this was like an hour and a half. So um, thanks for tuning in. This is my character on Dean from Jeridu's, uh play on Dean. Uh, she's a water spirit, water nymph, good or evil, we don't really know. Says she sucks men's souls out. And she gets a little bad rap for that. But um, anyway, um, I will see you next Makeup Monday. Please like us on Facebook. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel. We are going to be uh, produce. CPAC is going to be producing a New Works Festival that's going to go up in September. We just put some promotional stuff out for it. Um, it is a New Works Festival uh, with all local playwrights, directors, and actors uh, dealing all with the topic of uh, injustice, all types of injustice how we react to injustice, um, all of that. And uh, just, you know, um, we're, it's gonna be a free show that's gonna uh, stream live on Facebook. Uh, you can also have the option to purchase the compilation after the fact, uh, but all of the donations that we receive, 20% uh, of them are gonna be going to the ACLU of Northern California. Um, so it's for a good cause. Uh, and it's also to help us stay afloat during these uh, times where we can't gather and have actual live events. Um, and so I hope you guys tune in and check it out. Um, I will see you next Monday. And till then, everyone, enjoy the thunderstorms. <sighs> All right. Bye.